Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been a week or two since I last saw you, and there's a great deal going on this week, so let's get right into it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you at the end. On the west abutment this week, the team have been working very hard to build the forms to pour concrete walls. The work demands the same precision as any other aspect of the project. By midweek, advances were very clear and concrete's likely to come next week. Elsewhere on the West End, Bar Construction and the capable partners from John's Grading Services continue to work on infrastructure tasks that will support this side. cooperation with workers from Sousa Readymix who were stringing new curb lines. Out on Pier 17, the high point of the bridge, work was being done to grout the expansion joint. The concrete fill must be coming soon. With the deck complete, and one of the three Gamako sections already set aside, preparations to remove the remaining two were evident. By Tuesday morning, the second section had joined the first behind the east abutment. The third and largest section was then moved along its rails, and preparations began to detach its engine and then to prepare it for lift. Removing and laying down the engine was quite straightforward. Soon it was the turn of the main frame. The Tadano crane made light work of the lift, but particular care had to be taken in laying down and resting the main frame. Almost all week, nearby, gravel deliveries have been occurring at the east laydown. and a bulldozer has been shaping the margins of what will become a holding pond. At the start of the week, the gravel being delivered had been skimmed from below span three. By week's end, the practice of taking it from the east end of the gravel causeway had been applied again. This is how things stood on Friday morning when in a slightly surprising change, Bar Construction delivered an excavator that began to dig a new pipe drain on the east side. Work proceeded quickly and well with the usual survey checks, and by Friday afternoon, a pipe had been laid and consolidation was already taking place. In another slightly surprising move this week, in and around the Gamaco sections, gravel was delivered and manipulated on the approach to the east abutment. Clearly the area needs to be addressed before asphalt can be laid on either the bridge or the last section of Gore Road. While we're thinking about Gore Road, it's important to note Sharp landscaping have been paying close attention to ensuring watering of the new trees and grass areas. Not every task demands the use of heavy machinery, and this week on Gore Road, bar construction workers were engaged in making minor modifications to some of the manholes. But the focus of most attention probably continues to centre on the removal of the trestle roadway. Piles are pulled from the riverbed with the assistance of the vibro hammer. It's a painstaking process involving the closest coordination between the crane operator and the crew, and typically concludes with the pile section 
laid down for removal. The pile sections can be dragged off the trestle, but once it's time to load them, it becomes quite a performance from a very skilled operator to do so. It takes knowledge, skill and experience as well as all the capabilities of the all-wheel drive, all-wheel steer vehicle to get them into the container in a very restricted space. There are many aspects to the deconstruction of the trestle. Equipment is constantly being repositioned. It's a constant struggle to keep items that have been removed clear of the working space. It was particularly good on Thursday to see several of the big box girders removed from site altogether. The crane accessory box was moved on the same day, it became clear that major moves were afoot. Sure enough, next morning, reflecting the fact that there was no longer room for it, the scaffolding stairway that had provided access from the steel span was moved across the lift bridge. End of the day was disassembled. In another interesting change, the trailers moved to Gore Road in late June were moved onto the steel span on Friday. I would be remiss if I didn't mention there's a great deal of work going on beneath the spans and in areas that are generally invisible to complete work on the bridge. Before we go to wildlife, I want to share what was a very fortunate encounter this week as I was watching something else and the Corps of the Voyageur passed the bridge. So I hope you agree, that was quite a week. Great deal going on, and there's much more to come. So stick with the updates, consider subscribing please if you don't already, and thanks again for watching. Bye for now.